Okay guys, welcome to another Maintenance Monday. Normally we just tackle one issue and kind of walk you through the steps. Kind of do that now, but multiple issues. Just basically take you through a day in the life of, uh, we've kind of deferred it a little bit. There's a few things that have added up. So today we're gonna do an oil change. I have some uh, water pressure lines I gotta change. I have some bathroom issues. A couple of them have some leaky, stinky stuff. Uh, and then if we get around to it, there's a few other things we may or may not do. I don't know, uh, but here we go. Okay, first issue I'm gonna tackle today is our uh, outdoor freshwater hose down system. It's really nice having it for the dogs and for sandy feet and stuff like that. So, all right, I turn the water on, I hit the button, nothing's happening. I know what the problem is. I've had this problem several times. This hose uh, kinks. So it's an older hose and it's been kinked and it kinks kinking in the same spot. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna replace that hose because I've gone down there and fixed it two or three times and then it'll just re-kink itself eventually and so basically just gonna replace the hose and there we go. But the problem is, is getting down there is not easy. Then I have to go down into uh, on an airplane we call it the hell hole. Uh, <laughs> on a boat it's probably the hell hole too. It's loud and noisy down there when the engine's running and hot. So I will go down there. Change cameras though. This one's a little too bulky. So there is the problem. It keeps kinking in that same spot. I twist it and all that, and it won't come out. So I'm gonna replace this hose. Well, this is a lot simpler than I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna have to use, you know, pressure wrench or some pliers or something to get that off, but it's just a screw. You just untwist it. I think it's actually, it's harder getting out of here than it is getting in here. So I've had to do this at least one more time. Just gotta go to the store and get the proper hose. If you were a big, big guy, this would be a little difficult. Well, it's already difficult. All right, they didn't have any hoses, uh, replacement hoses, but what I did is I just got this hose to hose adapter. I would have preferred plastic, but they didn't have that, so brass. I got a couple uh, hose clamps, and so connect them together. But I did, I, the kinky part was in there, so I cut the kinky part out. I don't know, some people like the kinky part. Um, but, you down there in the trash? What are you doing? He's sneaky. Uh, so anyway, put these two together, tighten them down, and uh, for five bucks, fixed. Alright, let's give it a shot. Pulled the hose out here. Turn on some water. Yeah, there we go. Fresh water washed down. It'll be lots better for the doggies. It's even heated too. Okay, so that's job number one. Uh, let's move on to oil change. What I did a minute ago while we were doing all this, I ran the engine for a little while to kind of warm up the oil, make it easier to, to uh, get out, and then I turned the engine off for it's been about 20, 30 minutes or more. So all the oil should be back down in there and we're gonna pull it out. All right, so I went to the oil, I went to the oil store, I went to the marine store earlier and got the proper um, oil filter that I needed. Basically, I just wrote down the part number off the one that's already installed and they, it wasn't the same brand, but whatever, it's, it works the same. Um, and I also bought one of these guys right here, an oil extractor. Um, in my old boat, I had one of the, um, 
Uh, it works off a drill, right? You hook it up to a drill and you turn it, it creates a little pump. Don't buy one of those. They take forever. They're about half the price of one of these. These aren't cheap. These are over 100 bucks. It's kind of crazy how much they are, especially down here in Mexico. But um, this thing works so much better. It creates a vacuum and it pumps it out. It's so much faster. Uh, so I will show you how that's done. All right, first thing you do is you find your um, dipstick for your engine oil, which mine's right here. Okay, and so I'm going to show you how you connect all that and take the oil. It's really easy. All right, the little extractor unit comes with several different size hoses. This one should work. Uh, but what you do is you pull your dipstick out. Try not to get oil everywhere. Looking a little black, it's due for an oil change. And you stick this hose down in the dipstick and you want it to go all the way down into the oil pan because it's going to create a vacuum. There we go. It's all the way down in. Then I connect this to that hose. It's the extractor hose. You want it to get a nice little seal in there. go and we should just pump away yeah and here comes the oil and so what it's done here is it's created a vacuum in this chamber and so now that oil is just filling up automatically I've stopped pumping and it's still filling up right through that hose it's so much easier than um, that other method using the drill because you got to sit there and hold the drill for like 20 minutes to pump all this stuff out. It's so much easier. So it's pretty much finished. You can hear it sputtering and spewing um, about a gallon and a half or so of uh, oil, which is about right. So I'm going to let it finish there and then take this stuff out. We'll start the next step. There's a little pressure relief valve right here. There you go, that releases the pressure. And then I'll pull the hose out of here and try not to get oil everywhere. There we go. And let that drain. Okay, now I'm going to change the oil filter. I just got a little pan and put plastic in it to keep it from leaking into the bilge because you know there'll be a little bit of oil in the filter. Hopefully not too much here. And pull this guy off. No, I'm gonna have to get a a filter wrench. It sucks. Which I don't have one. It turned a little bit. I thought I was going to have to go get a filter wrench. Whew, okay. Yay. One thing you want to do is get a little bit of this old oil and kind of lube up this little the rubber seal here. Um, just helps it make a better seal so it doesn't leak. And then you just screw it back on. Okay, there we go. Uh, and it's a good idea, which I'm gonna do right now, is to uh, get a Sharpie and write the date that you did this so it's just easier when you're checking your stuff you know when you did it last. And most important, I'm gonna get my hat dirty. Uh, that's not the most important thing, it's important. You don't wanna get your hat too dirty. But most importantly, uh, don't forget to put oil back in it before you run it. <laughs> just saying, people have done that and the results are not pretty.
Okay, so I'm all oiled up here. Uh, one thing I like, I found one of these um, um, funnels. It's got screws on the bottom and the top. So that way you can just, except for dog hair. Uh, you know, you can seal these off and then put them away. You don't have to worry about, you know, trying to clean it out so much and it leaking everywhere. But anyway, so I, I've got, I'm going to put the caps back on. I've checked the dipstick. We're all good. And then we'll fire it up and I'll check to make sure we're not leaking anywhere around the filter or anything like that. If I got it down tight enough and uh, we should be good to go. That's the first good sign the oil pressure alarm went off. Now let's go check the motors. All right. Okay, and kind of the cool thing about using this uh, oil extractor too is that, um, you know, the oil is still in the extractor, so I can use what I filled up the oil with. I can just pour that oil in here, and then I can mix it easy for me to go take it to some place to recycle. So I will do that now. Uh, Laura would probably kill me if she saw me doing this in here, but I plan not to spill. Ah, no! Crap! No! <laughs> well, there goes my no spilling problem. Okay, bathroom fix number one. Uh, this is my bathroom. It just has a little drip um, in the drain hose. It's right where it meets the toilet and I can see it dripping and it's really gross because well it smells bad right and then eventually it'll drip down enough to where it's, it's just gross so we're getting rid of that. I will show you here. So right here this guy right here is tightening it down and there's a drip right down there and it's kind of gross so I'm gonna loosen this guy up and move him over and then put a new Put a new hose clamp on there. Um, it's kind of gross. I'm not looking forward to this. So I think I will wear gloves. Gloves. Uh, gloves will. Oh my god, this prank. Gloves was a good idea. I wish. If this had smell a vision. It was the perfect time for Laura to come home, right when things were at their smelliest. What do you think of the smell, Laura? This is gross. So you know what? I don't feel like eating my lunch now. Show, show that. Okay, so that's normally not yellow. Gross, Bobby. The freaking tripod is in. I will yellow wash stuff. it. I will wash it. Put a new hose clamp on there. It should do the trick, I hope. <laughs> oh, this is so much better. Oh, yeah. Can oh. you see what you're doing then? No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, no. No, put it back in front of my nose. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was, oh. There we go. This is so much better. All right. I think it's fixed. Flush it. See what happens. Oh. Oh, don't touch me. Yeah. Ah, you did it! I did not. You just flung. I didn't know I had it Your on. Your hands are wet, Bobby. Like you've never been peed on before. I don't even know whose pee that is. Mostly mine. Oh. <laughs> Turn them inside out. Oh god, the splatter! I see it. I just cleaned this kitchen, Bobby. Want me to talk about you? Uh -uh. I. You're scaring me. What? Was that what you were hoping to come home to? I would have preferred you clean my bathroom. 
Is it done? No. Nope. <laughs> Alright, so that's just a little sneak peek into uh, maintenance. We didn't even get close. Will you do me the honors? Thank you. Uh, didn't even close to finishing everything. Still got another bathroom to work on. Got to do some Velcro on the cushions, uh, the door handles. We've got a list somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, put it right in plain sight for you. Where'd you hide it, Bobby? I got a lot of stuff done today, so. Okay. You did. Good job. Cheers. Cheers. So, uh, it's best if you're going to go cruise and have a little bit of knowledge on how to do this stuff. Or watch YouTube. You can learn anything on YouTube. Ooh. <laughs> I need this. First beer. day? Yeah. yeah. Okay, lean your head back next time and actually take it. <laughs> ah, friends are back. Okay, time to go paddle boarding. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. Please give us a like and subscribe. And check out our new podcast. It's available from most podcast providers.